Justice League is the fifth movie in the DC Extended Universe. The first was Man of Steel, then Batman v Superman, then Suicide Squad, then Wonder Woman. Now here we are with Justice League. So in Justice League, it takes place a few months after the death of Superman, which was in Batman v Superman. Everyone's like still grieving his loss. The world hasn't been the same. And that's when Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, who is, who is once again played by Ben Affleck, he, he, he teams up with Diana Prince, who is Wonder Woman, who is once again played by Gal Gadot. They team up to form a team when a huge threat threatens our world, led by Steppenwolf, and that's when Batman and Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg team up and they form the Justice League. Now when it comes to DC, I love these characters, but when it comes to the extended universe movies, it's not the best. Man of Steel was the first one and I didn't think it was very good. Then Batman v Superman came out and I thought it was absolutely terrible. Then Suicide Squad came out and I do not want to mention that movie ever again. And then Wonder Woman came out, which was a huge surprise. I found it to be extremely enjoyable and I, and I really liked it. And now here we are with Justice League. And how is it? Well, unfortunately, it's one of the most disappointing movies I've seen all year. It's not the worst movie in the DCEU, but it's not very good either. But there were a few things that I enjoyed from it. For example, I like seeing all these characters on the big screen. We have Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, Flash. It's great seeing all these characters team up in a movie that we have been waiting for for years. And I like the performances too. I enjoy Ben Affleck's Batman. He's not as good as Christian Bale and uh, Michael Keaton, but, but I, I still really like his take on Batman. Okay, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman is perfect. Like, she is fantastic. And I liked Jason Momoa as Aquaman. He was cool. And I liked Ray Fisher's Cyborg. He was, he was neat as well. And, okay, let's get into it. Um... I'm probably going to get a lot of controversy for this, but I'm not a huge fan of Ezra Miller's Flash. I think he was extremely annoying. I mean, there were some times where his jokes were funny, but a lot of his jokes missed and it got extremely annoying after a while. And let's get right into it. Here are the things that I did not like about this movie. The negatives. And boy, do I have a handful of them. Okay. I did not like the story. I thought it was really generic. I thought it was just some typical story. This superhero team up and the story was really generic. Like it was so predictable. And I did not like the villain either, Steppenwolf. Uh, I thought this, I thought he was really lousy. Uh, he didn't have a clear motivation. He was all CGI'd out. Like his design was awful and he looked like he was from like a video game. And speaking of the visuals, they are atrocious. Like, I'll give him credit for trying, but I'm sorry, but the visuals were just awful and they looked like they were from like a video game. And just in case if you guys didn't know this, but I'm sure most of you guys know this, but this movie had a production trouble because Zack Snyder, is the director behind this movie, but he had a but he had to step step down as director because his daughter committed suicide, and then Warner Brothers decided to get Joss Whedon to direct it, and you can tell from the trailers that it was dark, but Joss Whedon made it more lighthearted, and I don't remember, but. I don't think Joss Whedon took credit in the end credits. I don't remember. Maybe it was there and I didn't see it. I don't know. But there were some scenes that were cut out and I could tell, like, I'm not going to buy this movie on on Blu-ray, but if Warner Brothers decided, decides to make a extended version of this movie, I would probably watch it. 
So yeah, sadly guys, Justice League is, once again, another DC dud. However, were there moments that I enjoyed from it? Yes. But, unfortunately, I thought the story was too generic, it had a really stupid villain, and Ezra Miller was extremely annoying as Flash, and the tone was a little, uh, all, all over the place, because it... It uh, went from dark to lighthearted, then like back again. And then, uh, yeah, honestly, if you're a diehard DC fan, you might like it. I mean, I love DC. Like, I love both Marvel and DC, but this movie didn't do anything for me. I thought it was extremely disappointing, and I wouldn't watch it again, to be honest. However, if Warner Brothers does make a extended cut to this movie, I might give it a chance. I'm going to give Justice League a C. The only good movie we had in the DC EU so far has been Wonder Woman. But the other ones, not so much. Alright guys, that's it for my review of Justice League. And I have a question for you guys. Have you seen Justice League? What did you think of it? Or... What has been your favorite and least favorite movie in the DCEU so far? My favorite so far is Wonder Woman. And my least favorite so far is Suicide Squad. So, whatever it is, comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to subscribe.